Robbie, oh. Chrissy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks. Um, the, when I first last spoke to you, was in Central Park and just about to embark on the world tour, yeah. starting in America. We're still uh, alive. Absolutely. We embarked and we're, we're still here. Um, everything up to your expectations? Yeah. Yeah. It's been good. Oh, I think so, yeah. American tour went on a bit, but um, it's good to be here. Right. Yeah, Australia. it's been great it's been here. Really nice. Very exciting. Yeah. Well, I mean, there was a lot of curiosity after um, the fact of the change of lineup and the fact that Get Close had come out of what exactly. Um, what the hell was going on before. here? Yeah. Well, what we got now is the same band that we had the last time we were in Australia. Yeah. We got a new drummer. We used a few people on the album, sort of augmented some. Uh, different sounds and grooves, and uh, this is what we ended up with. You were saying before the interview how much you're enjoying the Australian tour. I mean, does that mean the audiences as well? The audience has been great. Uh, the press have been great. Just the vibe in general. I mean, the, the media people that I've met have been really cool. Mm -hmm. Just the attitude seems... I don't know, I've been really impressed myself, and I know a lot of the people in our entourage are saying, oh, we should move over to Australia. People are really seriously talking about getting a place over here. Right. It's, it's really good, I, and I think there's a lot of good bands out. I've been looking at the tally a little bit, and uh, it seems like there's a really interesting, exciting music scene. Yeah. Probably an unlikely song to, if you're sort of saying, well, that could be a hit, is becoming huge here. Uh -huh. uh, just tell us quickly again about Him to Her. <laughs> it's this uh, pal of mine when I was in high school. I. I we were friends when we were like 15 and 16. And uh, I hadn't seen her for like 15 years or something, but someone gave me a tape that she had made. It wasn't like a demo tape to send to record companies. It was just her playing the, the piano and singing. And I, I don't know if you have a copy knocking around, but I'd, I'd love for you to hear it. But there were these fantastic songs on it. So I found her and I said, hey, do you mind if we do one of your songs? Anyway, that's where Him to Her came from. Right. But I'd love for you to hear the original. It's pretty wild. 